Hi guys, today I'll be reviewing the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and Concealer. Now these have been in the market for quite some time now and I wanted to try these out. But you guys know how much I was hooked on to my Essence uh, Mousse Foundation. I don't really use a concealer much but um, since I had recent breakouts and I did realize that I need a concealer now. So I went ahead and bought both of these. Uh, now the foundation came for 5, 25 rupees and you get 30 ml of this product and the concealer is for 500 rupees and you get 6.8 ml of the product. Please excuse my voice because I know my nose is all stuffed and blocked but I really wanted to do this video so I just thought why not just go ahead with it. So uh, starting off with the foundation, they actually have a huge shades to choose from but in India they have just uh, seven, six to seven shades which is also not bad because I'm very sure you'll find your perfect match um, from these shades. I think it's one of those foundation which you can use if you're a beginner provided you get the perfect shade. I am in the shade 230 which is called natural buff. Uh, now I did get confused between 230 and I think uh, 225. So one shade lighter and this shade but then I swatched it on my face directly to find out the exact shade. So on my hand it was 225 and on my face it was 230. And as you guys can see once I apply this foundation it really gives a very natural finish to my skin. I feel as if I have not applied any foundation and that is basically what you want and that's what you look for in a foundation. The stain powder is good uh, for my skin. I applied it at the beauty store and I went around and did my all day work and everything when I returned home it was still the same. So the stain powder is really amazing. I tried it on for 8 to 9 hours and it did stay without breaking me out. So that's again one thing. Uh, they say that it's non homogenic That means it's going to suit sensitive skin. You're not going to break out much and uh, that's, that's, uh, that's like a good news for me because I look out for... Uh, foundations that really suit sensitive who are prone to acne can definitely go for this foundation uh, now they call it poreless and it's true to certain extent like once you apply this foundation it's it's not gonna like cover up all your open pores and stuff but then it does give you a light coverage uh, uh, and it does kind of fill in those gaps a little bit but it's not gonna like change your face completely it's not gonna do anything of that sort and for the price you're getting this foundation it's, it's really good um, next thing uh, about the packaging it's really innovative it's again the same glass bottle the only thing that i do not like about the foundation is the way like you open it it, it does not come in a pump um, tube or something you like you cannot squeeze it out you kind of pour it out which i do not like i know after a few applications it's going to be all messed up and all dirty inside so that's one thing which i did not like uh, you can call it travel friendly like if you want to uh, carry it on a daily basis I would go for a BB cream instead not a foundation of like in a bottle like this but if I were to go on a vacation I would definitely go for this uh, because it, it blends in well I like you can use your fingers to blend in uh, on your face you can use a damp beauty blender and with a beauty blender it just did some amazing job like I was really impressed by the way this foundation like really sets on your face it gives you a very natural finish like I have a dry skin now because it's like winter's approaching and I know Mumbai is not really that cold but I my face really like cracks up like it becomes really dry and parched so I did apply a light layer of my facial mist that's my Amor Vixa facial mist and then I went ahead with the foundation on other days I would apply a like a moisturizer or a sunscreen beneath my foundation and um, it is perfect for oily skin people like it is really going to give you that powdery feeling and will give you a very matte look it, it is not like that dream satin foundation from Maybelline which gives you like this glossy appearance so that's about uh, this foundation now moving on to the concealer I'm not much of a person who has used a lot of concealers in the past but this like really did a good job it kind of concealed all my under eye area it kind of concealed my little bit of dark spots that I have around my lips and it really really gives a nice finish it blends in perfectly so I would recommend like if you're a beginner you cannot go wrong with this concealer at least because I did not go wrong with this so um, go ahead and try this you will definitely find your shade and uh, the concealer packaging is standard this is something that you can roam around with but I don't know why would you roam around with a concealer <laughs> but uh, the foundation itself gives a nice uh, medium coverage so if you don't like if you don't have like dark circles if you don't have a lot of black spots on your face like any pigmentation marks 
then you don't even need a concealer. Like I just started using a concealer because I realized I was getting a good, nice panda eyes. So that's the time I went ahead and picked up uh, this concealer. Uh, so that's all about the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and Concealer. I hope you guys like this video. And if you did, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I will be coming up with new videos pretty soon. Stay tuned. I'll see you all soon. Bye.